Christian Weedbrook is the founder and CEO of Xanadu, daring to lead Toronto's innovation sector on the global stage. He's revolutionizing the world of quantum computing. With academic credentials from top institutions, including University of Toronto, University of Queensland, and MIT, and a relentless focus on business growth, Christian is recognized as one of Toronto's most exciting tech founders. Please welcome to the Hydro One stage, Christian Weedbrook. Hello everyone, it's great to be here tonight. I only got five minutes so I'll get started. I just want to start off by showing this uh, incredible uh, picture here. This picture represents the future, uh, the future of computing, the future of deep tech, and also ultimately the future of Canada and the world. What is this? This is actually the most advanced computer in the world for a particular problem, and it's done all in downtown Toronto by Xanadu. What's really impressive about this computer, so this is essentially a, a computer that people can access over the cloud, is the problem it solved would have taken the world's fastest supercomputer. This is not just a single computer. This is something that has 7.2 million cores. If we had run all 7.2 million cores of this supercomputer, it's in Japan, it would have taken 7 million years to solve this particular problem that we chose. We used this computer, which we labeled Borealis, and Borealis went head to head with this computer, and it took only two minutes to solve the same problem. So we went from seven million years to two minutes. Now, <laughs> actually, as a side note, uh, so behind this, uh, this cool sort of uh, picture is all the optical elements. But as an important side note and showing the caliber of the team, this was actually started uh, a week before COVID started. And so the team had to come in under all the safety regulations. But there was a handful of like four people that came in and built this machine, which is quite incredible. And it's now put Xanadu and therefore Toronto on the map on the world stage. And this is really key. Um, the other part is uh, I'm originally from, uh, from Australia, from Brisbane. And I came here in uh, 2010. So I've been here for now for 14 years. Xanadu was actually started in uh, 2016. So we're in our eighth or ninth year now. Um, we've been able to attract um, a quarter of a billion dollars of investment, a lot of actually is from uh, Canada, which is very unique for deep, deep tech. Our first investor was actually Omas, which I think has never done anything like this before, and uh, we'll never do anything after that. Uh, it's not because we didn't give a good return of investment. It's just uh, it's a one-off thing, perhaps, for them. Um, but we've also got uh, a lot of money from Silicon Valley as well. We're a unicorn company. And in only eight years, we've raised a quarter of a billion and gone to $1 billion valuation. Now, the other impressive thing is the amount of talent that we've been able to, uh, to drive to, to Canada. So 200 people uh, we've uh, managed to attract. 52, 53% of the people are actually from, uh, from overseas. So originally from, you know, I see a lot of parallels between uh, Australia and Canada. Um, we have a brain uh, drain equivalent in, in Australia. Um, and a lot of people leave to go to other countries. <laughs> I actually did that too. Um, but uh, Toronto is now my home. I'm a Canadian citizen. Um, but we've been able to attract uh, uh, so many people, over, over uh, 100 people to come to Canada. And they actually get their permanent residency and then they get a citizenship as well. They want to stay here and work on this, on this uh, topic of quantum computing. So, the, the real you know, theme for me tonight is the sort of a lot of people may not know this is going on in our backyard. So we're actually, our office is on the 29th floor on, uh, on Bayon College. So it's completely downtown. It's actually built on top of a, a, a shopping center, which is kind of cool um, if you want to get food and stuff like that. So uh, we've been able to attract people from all over the world, but quantum computing is actually going to redefine humanity ultimately. Think of it as... Uh, imagine if we go back to the early 60s and 70s, take Intel as a good example. Imagine if the computer didn't exist today. There was no personal computer, there was no internet, there's no phones, no gaming machines, no nothing. Imagine what our life would be. So computing power is, is proportional to 
uh, innovation in society. And that's how we see quantum computing. Um, quantum computing this decade, and ultimately, you know, by the end of this century, even before that, but by the end of the century, you look back and think, how could we have had all these breakthroughs uh, in new drugs, um, in material design, uh, in finance, and, and many other things that are actually intractable. And our demonstration of Borealis before, uh, even though it was for a, a, a sort of a specific math problem, it's an important stepping stone to get to these uh, in very important uh, world transformational uh, technologies. We've heard about things like batteries, uh, plants being uh, built here in Ontario. Well, we're part of that as well. We actually uh, are using quantum computers to, to investigate how you can actually generate new materials to generate batteries that are faster, uh, single charge lasts 10 times longer, and safer and so forth. Um, so the final take home I'd like to mention is that all this has been done in our backyard. It is possible to do something that will actually redefine not only Canada and computing and hardware and deep tech, but the world. And I'm always inspired by, um, you know, TSMC is one of the, the great uh, companies in the world and it makes all the chips for Apple and other companies. Um, and it was formed in Taiwan in the 70s or 80s. And so we can actually have a success story like TSMC. NVIDIA is another great example, it's just going crazy in terms of stock price and capitalization. But we can actually do that right here in Toronto. And foundation is being built by Xanadu, but I think it's bigger than Xanadu. Um, I think this is a good example that others can see that. First off, you don't have to necessarily go to Silicon Valley to raise all this money. You can do this here. And we've been also talking to a lot of the pension funds and sovereign wealth funds, both here in Canada and around the world, and they want to invest as well. So the final point I'd like to ma make is that quantum computing is going to change our lives. Um, Xanadu and therefore Toronto is at the heart of this worldwide. And the world is going to look very different and it will be because of everyone that's come to Toronto and uh, Toronto has welcomed me and everyone else that's, that's come here. So um, thank you. I appreciate it.